hi guys um welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm here one of my clients asked me a very important question and she called me yesterday she said liz is there any way i can book an appointment and i told her i'm not taking any more clients um i'm temporarily closed due to the situation we're going through right now um because of that i'm not doing it here and i don't know when i'm going back to hair. you know i'm going back to do braids so she called me later on she like um liz what do i need to do I, you know she said her cousin can braid you know since she at home not doing anything her cousin can you know do her little some some like you know box braids for her to keep it till you know everything is over that we can go back to work so she kind of asked me you know my cousin can grab the only way she can do the box braids is she use the rubber band method and i told her it's okay she like no i don't like it and i know she doesn't like it because anytime she comes to me that when i'm doing hair she like i hate rubber band and i remember the first day she asked me like the first day she booked an appointment she can't wait before she sat down in my chair she like betty bella do you use rubber band or you just do box braids i this is after i already told her that like no i grab you know so she kind of i kind of know that she doesn't like using any kind of rubber bands um on her hair so since her cousin can't uh, grab i told her this is what she needs to do and when i told her she like you know what i think you should do a little youtube video and tell people what they need to know or what they need to do before they use rubber bands for any type of braid it can be box braids it can be twists because i know a lot of people sometimes they use rubber rubber they use rubber band method to do box braids so before you use your rubber band method for your box braids this is what you need to do okay first of all you need any kind of lid okay any kind of lid any kind of lid or any like a small container like this this container is from i use it um i got it uh from this is better because it wouldn't be no it wouldn't be messy okay so this is from the bobby pins that i use i empty it another um container just to use this okay so before you use your rubber bands this is your this is um the rubber bands right once you have your rubber band you get a little container or any kind of lid okay um you throw a little rubber band in here and what you have to do is you're gonna have to use any type of growth oil the reason why i use you can use any type of oil like so far as it's a like oil sheen or anything but i do like growth oil and this is main uh, you know main choice i like it a lot as you can see um i've been using it you know a lot this is this is my favorite and this is what you, you know let me show it again right here so what you gotta do is since you put your rubber band in here let me do it again you put a little bit in here what you have to do is this is you use this growth oil and you let me open it you spread it all over make sure it's soaked in okay make sure it's all soaked in um you know you can use your hand or whatever um you can use your hand just to make sure your rubber band is soaked in um your growth oil um 
before you use it for your client hair. And I also suggest you can use grease if you don't have um, any type of growth oil, you know, at the moment. But my first choice is you can use growth oil. It can be black cast oil. It can be wild growth. It can be any type of growth oil is better than grease, okay? You can use grease if you don't have um growth oil around but for me i suggest you use growth oil since you know growth oil is gonna help your client hair to grow you know what i mean so i think before or i know before you use rubber band to do your client hair your own hair, your daughter, whatever, your friend, whoever, I suggest you dip your client or you dip your rubber bands in a, some type of growth oil. Like I said, it doesn't have to be um, uh, um, only, main, you know, uh, main choice. You can use any type of um, growth oil just to look how thick this is okay look how thick it is so this is what you need to do that way you know how since when we when people get braids they keep the braids for a long time and you don't want their hair to mess up whilst they have the braids so i suggest i think it's a good idea i think um since it's a, a you know growth oil is also gonna help the client hair to grow till she take them rubber bands off okay so if you like this video don't forget to share it this is very important video to share if you watch this video try to share this video because a lot of people can grip a lot of people not even can grip a lot of people use rubber band for bra braiding method or a lot of people use rubber bands for braiding method or whatever so don't forget to share it don't forget to uh give me a thumbs up if let me know if you like the rubber band method or you don't like rubber band method let me know on the comment section and um don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please follow me on Instagram. I'm about to hit 66,000 followers on Instagram, girl. Why am I saying girl? I'm so happy, you know. I'm so happy because, you know, I can't wait till I hit 70,000, okay. I'm almost 66,000. So follow me. Give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel why are you gonna watch my video without subscribing come on subscribe to my youtube channel okay so see you next time when um i make another video stay safe um and thank you for watching bye bye